Good morning, modern steaders. A nice brisk 39 degrees out again this morning. Uh, they were calling for 34. I thought we were going to have a frost. Usually if they call for that cold, we'll dip down a couple of degrees, but it's 39, so no frost yet. How are them apples? How about some apples and grain? There you go. Gina picked up three Kubota bucket loads of apples under one tree yesterday. <sighs> A lot of you want to know why we don't eat them or do nothing with them. We haven't had the time this year and most of the apples here are not tasty. They're all wild apple trees. They probably make an all right cider. We've done that before, but they make really good pig food. We need to finish building the door for the milking room today and get it installed. <laughs> and Gina and Olivia made a pretty cool sign. I'll put a time lapse of that in the video at some point. Come on, baby. Come on, Willow. A lot of people have been asking why we haven't used all the batten strips on the barn. We're not putting the batten strips in the areas that the goats are because we know they'll just chew them off. Did you eat all your grain? No, don't, hey, no. Why would you want to do that, huh? Why would you want to eat foam? You're crazy, get out of here. The boys are being awfully quiet this morning. They must be sleeping in. Good morning. You guys are quiet this morning. How come? You guys coming? Come on. Come on, Pluto. You coming? <sighs> I lost all of our shelf and to set our coffee on. I can smell that uh, paint remover or rust remover Gina put on yesterday. It smells like a baby's diaper. I know, totally odd. Uh, door open and get that stank out of here. Whew. But we need the saw hosses that her things are on. Oh yeah, look, that's working. It's running, running real good. Let's stick it, ah, stick it outside. It's tripping on the floor. Oh yeah. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Phew! Smells like a baby diaper. Not a dirty one, like a clean one. Just like that perfumey smell. It's weird. Whew. All right, a few tools we're gonna need today. So about a month ago, we started building the barn door for the outside of the milking room. And today we finally get to finish it. We've had so much going on to get the homestead where it is right now. So many parts and pieces to it. We've got to keep juggling everything around. Do one step, get it lined up for something else, and jump around to something else. And it's finally time. fifth barn door we made and on the last one I figured out how to make the barn door for the nice angles super simple just using a skill saw so I saved that footage and I'm gonna put that footage in right here I want to start off by making the door three inches longer 
than what we want to finish at. So I'm gonna cut our door to 86. by putting our door upside down. I'm gonna stop the face of the door towards the floor. You're gonna need to cut two boards that are the same width as your door. I wanna square them up to the ends. Square it up again. All right, I like it right there. I'll draw a line. This is a reference point. All right, so now I need to get an overall diagonal length. This will be the longest board. This time we want the smooth side up. We want it like that. So then our next piece we need it to be 67. I need to set my saw depth to three quarters of an inch. Then that way we don't have to cut every single angle on the chop saw. <laughs> so now we need to figure out the length and the width we need to make it. It is made extra long and wide so we can cut it down. So max we could go would be 85 on the height. And then let's see, on the width, the max we could go would be 42 and a half. So let's see what we have. Let's see what we need. So I wanna leave at least a quarter of an inch all the way around. So it's 37. I wanna measure it 37. If we go 37, that'll give us just over a quarter of an inch on each side. 
And then on the height we're looking for, so if we go 82 and a half, that'll drop us down to the bottom of the trim. That'll work. And then we can cut our threshold out right here in this doorway. And I'm curious, are we gonna have the room here? Oh, we might have to notch out our trim work, guys. Yeah, I guess I should have dropped the doorway down a little bit more. Oops. So yeah, I thought it looked a little, it's gonna be tight. We either have it or we don't have it. Let's see if we gotta trim down the trim work. Trim down the trim work. <laughs> Ah, all right, let's see. Survey says, do, 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 yes. We're gonna have to notch that out a smidge. Boom. Yeah, put a notch right here. And the other thing we wanna do is we wanna take the same amount off on each side. So that way our pattern comes out even. All right, so I need to take three and a quarter off on each side. Three and a quarter. We'll line up straight edge up on the marks. I like it. around Let's see we got that hinge kit and we got our door handle right here 10 inches to the center of our hinge What I like to do is put a mark for my center screw and then I take my hinge, I fold it down on the door and I keep it flush on the edge. This helps square my hinge to the door. Then I work in diagonal pattern. Make sure it stays square. Uh. 
That'll work. Put that blocking under it. There. I like that. And our dock, door, dock, door can rest right on it. So I can screw a couple of boards right here, and then the door won't fall in on us. All right, one sec, let me get this board up. It better not eat over the new door. <laughs> oh, thank you. Mm. Delicious. Eggs from the homestead. And that was sauce, <clears throat> that was breakfast sausage that we made from our pigs last year. Delish. <clears throat> mm. All right. Now we got to get the door hung. Let's check all of our gaps again. Looks good. Using three inch screws, this way we know we're going from our, in our trim, our siding, and into the framing. Let's get a little bit of black paint. Curious to see if we're gonna hit up top or not. And then that out. Let's see. Oh, we just clear. Gina's been waiting for me to cut this out. That would make my life easier. I like that. sits in a little bit and then we put the weather strip in there it'll be perfect I like it all right now we need to put in our latch. Here. for that handle a bit. Yep. All right. 
break here and here. I hope for a little more enthusiasm than that into the new pasture, but you don't give it to me yet, huh? I feel like the way out. They do. Maybe one of these days you'll run right out to the pasture when we open the gate. Okay, so I think we're gonna go a different route on this now. I just want to screw in some pieces, but I think we can use some wood on it. Looks like we can take off. Like I think the stuff worked to a point, but I after I did it, I'm like, oh, I should have did it thicker. Right. And then. I think also because it's like inside, it's hard to get at and stuff. Yep. It didn't work the way I want to, and it's not gonna be. I for me to use something, I need it to be like, because then I'm gonna be like all right. freaking out. But we have some really nice hard, rough sawn cherry wood in the basement that we traded some chickens for last year. Right. So we wanted some chickens, so we traded some boards for it. We can plane it down, make a wood top, a wood bottom. And then have it like a, make like our own cabinet, and then mount this stuff to it, and have it nice cherry wood. And yeah. It'll darken up, it'll be red, and we'll clear coat it, and it'll make right. it really nice. Clear coat it like you did my top of my bookshelf under the TV. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna keep this because I like that it has a whiteboard. Right. We'll use this as the and whiteboard. I like using that. You can use as a mat, you know, like magnetic. And then I like that it has a shelf so you can store stuff. But what do you think? That's good. You like it? Yeah. I'll we'll wait to put the next part on until Olivia gets home. Yeah. Darken up over time, match the rest. It's kind of like 
The goats don't seem to care the dogs are in here. No, but I'm surprised they've come this far with them being in here. This is the furthest I've seen you girls out. You want some, you can't have no chicken grain. No, that's not goat grain, that's chicken grain. Nope, chicken grain. Right, Hope. They're not having any grain, that's for the chickens. How many eggs? 16, 17. Two. Right. Fourteen. Sixteen. I almost said eighteen because you girls were all. Hi. Yep. Oh, there's one broken actually. So yeah. there's seventeen. Yeah, here. Like what? Hope was thinking about Figaro. They match. He said, oh, we're the same colors. Good boy, Tanner. Good boy. Because she saw us now, she feels comfortable. Yep. I like how Tanner's staying to your side. Oh, you got a rock there, little P. Come on, Come on pull it out. Tanner, this way. Go out. This way. Come on, Tanner. Come on. It's okay. Come on. Good boy. Where else do you go? I know. We don't want to go. Really? Mostly broken. Well, I want her rock. I think that's what she's doing. That sign project was a project we worked on as a family, I think, for like two weeks we had it on the kitchen table and a little bit after dinner we do this we do that it was a fun family project and it's gonna make a great memento to walk into every day now going into the milking room I want to encourage you guys to give yourself a challenge this is something I've been doing for the last year and I love it I do it every morning where I reflect on it but every day I do it I want you to pay attention to how you talk to yourself. You might not talk to yourself out loud like I do on camera, but you talk to yourself all the time in your head. Whether you talk really in your head and up, but you always have thoughts about yourself. What kind of thoughts do you have? Are they positive? Are they negative? Are you always talking down to yourself? And think, would I talk to my friend this way? Would I talk to my mom this way? Because I know for me, I always catch myself putting myself down and that doesn't do very well for any of us going through life. So I encourage you to stop, think, and reflect on that. I do it every day for the last year or so and it's made a huge difference and impact on my life. And when I talk about investing in yourselves, that's a big one. We need to change the way we talk to ourselves. Leave it in the comments down below if you're if you want and let me know 
what you've come up with. But I'd like to challenge you to do that for like a month and let me know how it works. So thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Sorry about my voice. It's a little raspy tonight. I got, I don't know, allergies or, or a cold or something. See you guys in the next video.